Hi guys, welcome to a new series I've thought of, which is Quran Logics, where I take a very quick look at the logics used and deployed in the Islamic Quran. Now in this video, I'm going to look at an example where there are dozens of sentences, I mean hundreds even, directed at what is called signs. Nothing concrete, nothing defined or factual, obscure sentences which require interpretation to make them represent something. But something rather mundane at best. The Quran, at least according to this count, mentions something like 377 signs. Without making a case for these signs, what they really are and what they're supposed to achieve and why. Chapter 3 verse 190 and 191. Allah says, Indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and day, and there are signs for people of understanding. Okay, think about this. Now Allah, this is Allah speaking. He's saying, in this entire universe, in this creation of the heavens and the earth, there are signs there. No doubt, there are signs. Okay? As Muslims, we can see these signs and we appreciate them. Allah says these signs are for people of understanding. How about logically using something a bit more convincing? Because, come on, this is rather pitiful, I think, anyway. Because if the Christian God were in charge, wouldn't it be only logical that no churches, the place where God or their gods resides, would be impacted by lightning, fire, flooding, earthquakes, hurricanes, or any other natural disaster for that matter, especially over Christmas? And is that what we see? If the Islamic God were the boss, why would the Kaaba or Mecca itself, if ever, suffer from natural disasters, especially during Ramadan or Hajj? But like any other structure or place or at any other time, disasters happen, randomly. Is that what we would expect if a God, an all-loving, all-merciful God were in charge? Wouldn't it be logical that a God would send us humans a sign, a real sign, a persuasive sign? Would that be more logical and more befitting an all-powerful, all-knowing, all-merciful Creator God?